right, so today what you're going to do is you will, after you've recorded your taking pictures of your artwork, you will click on the Canva link. You're going to go to Canva. You're going to find a presentation. It says right here up in the top on this, what will you design today? It says presentations are here. The best one to go with is the 16 by nine presentation, just right there. Click on that and then you can build this from scratch or you can use any of these templates right here. The requirement, if you look at the example that I gave you, is you need to do two pictures on your first one. You'll say your name, portfolio, and then you'll create two or three of your best pictures and put them on here. The second slide that you're going to do is an about me slide. So you can use pictures about you, things you like. I like to go hiking. I like to play video games. I like to ride my bike. And so I would write something about that. You need to write that in like two or three paragraphs. You can do bullet points. So let's go back to Canva. Here I have my blank presentation. So the next thing I want to do is I need to make an about me. If you want to do it from scratch, you just go here to background. Let's sit down at the bottom. It says background. It's all these diagonal lines. Click on that. You can find a background color you like. There's all sorts of backgrounds to choose from. I'll go with this one. Next, I like to go to elements and add some shapes in here. You can add a circle. You can add a square. You could change the circle on the square color to match. So let's do, let's add some color to it, yellow. Let's bring this one to the front. You can right click. So tap on your two fingers, that's right click. You can bring these forward or send them back. Color should be that one. Purple, sure. Now nah, I don't like the background. Let's change the background. Nah. Maybe. Uh-uh. Uh, green? Sure, we'll just go with that. Let me do one last one, nature. Ooh, I kinda like that. All right. So next you wanna add the text. You can use, when you click on the text button, the T, you can use any of these pre-made ones for you, or you could just click add a heading. And then you could change the size up here. You see how clicking that changes the size, or you can grab it from the side and make it bigger that way. You can add your name, Mr. Ray. You can select that and then change the font. So the font is the way the uh, letters are going to look. There's lots of fonts to choose from. Mr. Ray's and then portfolio. And there's also, you can add up here effects, like add a shadow, make it glow, hollow, echo, all sorts of different things, kind of like the shadow. There we go. You can change the coloring of the font too. And so then you want to add your pictures. So to add your pictures, you need to click on this button that says upload. It's a little cloud with an arrow pointing up. You want to click the purple button that says upload media. This will take you to your uh, files. You just need to find the pictures that you have taken with your camera. And you can go and upload those. So here I'll take some old art. What about uh, 
I'll add this one. There we go. So you want to add two of your pictures. So let's say I added these two pictures. You can add more than two. All right, and so then that's pretty much it uh, with that one. The next one is the About Me page. So you click on that. You keep the same background if you want. Actually, here, let's do it this way. Let's just up here. Do you see this duplicate page? There's a trash can. You can delete that page. You can duplicate the page. You can add a page. Let's duplicate this page. So now it's on page two. I'm just going to select these things and delete them. And then change this to about, about me. Set a portfolio. And then you would add the text in here. About you. And then you can find pictures. Here. Form Ipsum. Form Ipsum generator is what I need. So it's just a placeholder. It's a bunch of uh, gibberish it's called Lauren Ibsen. It's what graphic designers use to kind of see what the font would look like if you had a bunch of text somewhere. But it's just a bunch of gibberish. So you can change the font to that. Find something you like. And you can change it this way. All right, and then find pictures of things that you like. So click on elements. Like if you like to play video games, you can type in video games. If you like to go outside, you can type in outdoors. If you like to play sports, you can type in the sport that you like to play. Find pictures to add around. And try to make it like a theme. So what I mean by theme is like it, like you don't want to add a bunch of different types of pictures all over it. It's just going to look uh, busy. See, see how that looks kind of scrambled and busy. So, but I like that book. It's pretty cool. Let's add that down the corner. I don't like those trees. All right, any questions? Once you're done with that, uh, you'll just click share. And then you want to download these to your computer because we're going to make this on a different site, Google Sites. So you would just click uh, PDF, download, and it downloads it for you. So if there's no questions, get to work.